Let's start breaking down some first innings across Major League Baseball. NRFI, Pete McCarthy filling in for Aton Shander. Aton, by the way, I hope you were backing him last night. Nice 3-0 and looking at these NRFIs, putting the pressure on me today to keep the streak going, keep it alive. Give us a like, subscribe to what we got going on here at the Odd Shopper channel. I mean, it's loaded with great content to help you make smart bets across all sports, whether it be baseball, football, college football. Great analysis there from Matt Kajeski. Check all this out. Subscribe to Odds Shopper. You get our videos as soon as they pop up, and you get the best odds, too, uh, before things start to run a little bit with that smart money moving around. So uh, be sure to check all that out at Odds Shopper. You could use Odds Shopper itself, right? Oddshopper.com. Check out the best ROIs. What we're looking at is statistically the, the most likely scenarios. Help you out with some home run lines. You name it. Uh, and, of course, so uh, we're breaking down these NRFIs right now. So uh, let's start getting into it. We're going to start with the game that had a, a ton of runs yesterday in the Philadelphia Phillies, the Toronto Blue Jays. I, I like this pitching matchup, right? Kevin Gosman, Zach Wheeler. The issue with Wheeler is not going to last long in this game. But if we're looking at the first inning here, I don't care if Zach Wheeler leaves in the third and Noah Syndergaard is coming in out of the bullpen uh, yes, Wheeler is coming off an elbow issue, so we'll have to see if he's 100%, but these are meaningful games for the Phillies. I don't think they're throwing Zach Wheeler out there against the Toronto Blue Jays thinking that he's going to be a shell of himself. They just have to be careful with him going deeper in this game. But again, just looking at the first inning, Zach Wheeler, we know when he is right, he is a terrific pitcher, 26% strikeout rate on the season. Even against this powerful Toronto Blue Jays offense, I'm always going to give the edge to the pitcher with the great stuff. And Zach Wheeler, runner-up for the NL Cy Young Award last year, no doubt about it, has great stuff. So I'm comfortable with Zach Wheeler getting through this first inning unscathed against the Toronto Blue Jays. On the other side, Kevin Gosman, he's not a star name, right? He's not going to be in any uh, you know Coke commercials tomorrow, right? But Kevin Gosman getting it done, 28% strikeout rate for him. It's actually even better than Zach Wheeler over the course of this season. He's really been pitching some of his best baseball of late too. Uh, so Gosman going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Phillies lineup. Obviously a lot of power, uh, but also a lot of strikeouts in that lineup as well. Uh, so I, I like no runs in this game. Uh, in that first inning, at least. Uh, no runs in the game wouldn't be a great bet. But uh, no runs in the first inning is a good bet. And you can find this right around even money, a little worse than that. Uh, but that's okay. I'll give away a little bit. Uh, I feel confident in this one when you look at the pitching matchup that we have with Gosman and Wheeler, even against some tough offenses. And again, I don't love Wheeler and the Phillies in this game overall. And you can check out my parlay video for more on that. Uh, but as far as Zach Wheeler goes, one inning, we can get one scoreless inning out of Zach Wheeler here. Hey, we got a special offer for new users of DraftKings Sportsbook and BetMGM. Claim it right now. Make sure you're on this. Just bet at least $5 on any NFL pregame money line on DraftKings, and you'll get $200 in free bets if it wins. For BetMGM, you must be located in the states of Kansas, Illinois, or Louisiana. If you are, lucky you. Claim the following offer. Just bet 10 bucks on any NFL pregame money line, and you'll win $200 if either team scores a touchdown in week three. I think we can get that one. It's that easy. Click the links in the video description below to claim these offers now. And you get all kinds of goodies down there in the video description below. Make sure to scroll through, read through, uh, see what opportunities you can find down there. We'll tell you about another one uh, coming up in a little bit. Next game I want to target is the Mets and the Brewers. We're looking at this first inning. Look, I'm not big on Adrian Hauser in this spot. Hauser, the Brewers really need him to eat some innings after exhausting their entire bullpen last night. There's seven innings out of their bullpen. So, you know, Hauser's not a guy who's going to be throwing out, coming out, throwing darts in the first inning, throwing 100%. He's got to try to find a way to last uh, five innings in this game, which has not been easy for Adrian Hauser over the past month or so. Uh, the Mets lineup, look, we know what these guys could do. We saw it last night, right? Pete Alonso, a three run homer. Alonso setting a new career high in RBIs of the season. Francisco Lindor, the huge grand slam. There is some pop in this Mets lineup. It wasn't a dynamic offensive night. Last night, they managed just four hits, but still scored seven runs. Uh, but we know, look, the lineup will come out a little bit. I don't have access to it right now, but a Brandon Nimmo's at the top. We know he has the ability to get on base and start some of these rallies, make some things happen. Uh, I like the Mets in the first inning in general, what they're able to do offensively. I love targeting Adrian Hauser in this spot with the Milwaukee Brewers trying to avoid being swept. 
And even on the other side, I don't mind what we're seeing here. Taiwan Walker's been a lot better the last couple of starts. Uh, he had struggled before that after a terrific first half. Looks like maybe he's turned it around here. Uh, Milwaukee, not a great lineup, but they have the ability to, to score some runs. Maybe we'll get lucky in the bottom of the first if the Mets don't manage to put up a run in the top. But really what I'm eyeing is the Mets offense against Adrian Hauser here. That's what I want to target. That's what I want to target with the top of this Mets lineup. Uh, we're looking at even money for a run being scored in the first inning. I'll take the even money uh, to get a, a run there and really liking the Mets in this spot on the uh, the top half of the first. Uh, if you're not subscribed to our premium access at Odd Shop, you got to jump on this. You get an opportunity not only to get picks from some of our sharpest minds, whether it be uh, Aton, whether it be Greg Ehrenberg, Matt Kajeski, who's been terrific on the college football picks over the course of this year. You also get to ask some questions and you know get a feel for what their process might be. Uh, you know, you can ask Matt Kajeski about his favorite movie. He's never seen one, I think. So uh, you can hit him up with all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you really could get some good information, have a back and forth with these guys. And it's free for the first week. So you want to try it out, especially this time of year when we have so much going on, right? Stretch run Major League Baseball. NFL season just started up. Now we're starting to get a little more data, right? After two weeks of this season, get a feel for what's happening. College football is well on its way now. Uh, we've got a lot going on. Coming up soon, before you know it, it's going to be the NHL, less than a month away, NBA, about a month away now. Uh, so a ton coming up. Uh, you want to try it out, seven days, free, get a feel, you like it, great, subscribe, you don't like it, thank you. Nothing lost, right? Uh, so be sure to to check that out. Get access to uh, to all of our our top minds here at Odd Shop or Stochastic and the whole nine yard. All right, let's give you another NRFI here, and we're going to look at the Pirates and the Yankees. It's actually plus money for a run in the first inning. I don't know if you guys have heard this. Aaron Judge guy is kind of good. He just hit a uh, sixty home runs last time. Get at least one Aaron Judge at bat uh, in this first inning. So we'll take that, right? Uh, I don't like. Luis Severino uh, in this spot a whole lot. Severino, well, he's got a three and a half ERA, which looks okay, but he hasn't even pitched up to that degree over the course of the season. A 40% hard hit rate. I understand it's the Pirates. You're not scared of this lineup, but the Pirates have the ability uh, to put up a couple of runs here. We know we got that short porch in right field. We got a cheapy home run. Boom, we're cash or plus money on this ticket, the NRFI. And on the other side, again, you're getting Aaron Judge. I actually like Ronzi Contreras. He's got a really good arm. Uh, has the ability to, to strike some guys out, not to the degree of Luis Severino, but he's over that mark of 20% that I'm always looking at. 3.24 ERA on the season for Juanzi Contreras. Probably watch his innings. Not going to go terribly deep in this game, but we're just looking at the uh, first inning here. Don't love that end of it as far as the Yankees go, but again, you're getting Aaron Judge at bat. And on the other side, I like targeting Luis Severino. And look, there's a reason you're getting plus money on this one. Uh, there you have some decent, Pitchers here in this spot, but I think targetable uh, pitchers, particularly Luis Severino for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So let's go. Let's get some plus money on that. And if we don't get the Pirates running the top of the first inning, we're rooting for number 61 for Aaron Judge. Not a bad spot to be. And that Chuck Carlos Stanton guy, you know, you can hit, send him out to the big grand slam last night uh, for the New York Yankees. So there you go. A couple of NRFI bets. Got to try to back eight times 3 0 yesterday. So hopefully we get another 3 0 day today and keep you rolling right along. Be sure to like, subscribe, keep up with all of our videos here at Odds Shop. We've got every sport taken care of, whether it be baseball, every day, NFL. Uh, giving you the best bets going into the Thursday night game tomorrow. Big Sunday ahead. I, it's always happening in the NFL, right? And then college football uh, starting in earnest on Saturday. But uh, always games to be keeping an eye on along the way. So be sure to check all that out. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Good luck tonight.